welcome class 7 students to the worker physics so today we will solve some numericals from chapter 1 so this will be very useful for your exam okay so you can follow so question number 1 is calculate the volume of a cuboidal box of dimensions 0 0.4 meter into 10 to the uh, 80 centimeter into 20 centimeter okay so this is a cuboidal box so shape of the solid is cuboidal so here these dimensions are given that means this is length 0 0.4 meter and breadth 80 centimeter and height 20 centimeter as these are given in centimeter please convert this into meter uh, convert this also into centimeter okay you can also convert this into meter and solve no problem but converting one is easier than converting two so i have converted meter into centimeter so 0 0.4 into 100 that is 40 centimeter now you have length 40 centimeter breadth 80 centimeter height 20 centimeter then what is the volume of the cuboid that is length into breadth into height okay remember the formula volume of cuboid is length into breadth into height so 40 into 80 into 20 when you multiply you will get this answer okay so be careful to convert these units into the same system you can either convert all in uh, all into meter or to centimeter so one is in meter so i have converted this into centimeter now this centimeter 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 so you cannot uh, put this value 0 0.4 into 80 into 20 then you will be wrong okay so this way you have to solve now i'll go to the second question so in second question calculate the area of the following triangle okay so you have to find the uh, area of this triangle so you can just follow the triangle so this triangle so here uh, length is equal to sorry the base is equal to 12 centimeter and this height is 20 centimeter so this is perpendicular so you can see the diagram so here what you can see so you can see the um, base is 12 centimeter and height is 20 centimeter okay because this height is height should be perpendicular and as it is drawn on this side so this is taken as the base so half area of triangle is half into base into height half into base into height so half into 12 into 20 so both are in centimeter so no need to change unit just uh, put the values substitute them and solve them to get the answer and as you see here you are finding the area so unit of area is so unit of area is uh, square centimeter or square meter or square millimeter so here we are dealing with centimeters so answer should be in centimeter square if you write wrong and wrong unit then your answer will be taken as wrong okay so write the unit properly like in the previous question uh, the answer was 64000 and you found uh, volume okay so you need a volume is centimeter cube meter cube millimeter cube okay so here we have converted all in centimeter 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 so it will be centimeter cube now next question is regarding the volume of a sphere okay so find the volume of a sphere of radius 7 centimeter so sphere is three dimensional round object like football and you see this is the radius from the center to the sphere this is radius 7 centimeter so r is 7 centimeter okay and formula volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi into r cube okay then 4 by 3 pi is 22 by 7 
22 by 7 you can take 3.14 you can take okay so you can take any one so usually we take 22 by 7 okay then put the values pi 22 by 7 then r is 7 so r cube means 7 into 7 into 7 r cube means 7 cube that is 7 into 7 into 7 so cancel this and uh, cancel the 7 and rest you multiply and divide and it is very very important to show the rough work on the same page so don't do rough anywhere else but you make the habit of solving the numericals with the rough on the same page okay the side you draw one line and do the rough work okay then you, this is your answer 1437.33 centimeter cube so here we found the volume so that's why unit is centimeter cube because radius is in centimeter if it is in millimeter you will get millimeter cube if it is in meter then you will get meter cube so be careful to write proper units so come to question number four so four is to find the area of a circle with diameter 14 centimeter okay so diameter is given so what is diameter of a circle so this is a circle and this total is diameter and this much is radius so diameter equals to 2 into r so r is r equals to dy to half of the diameter so radius is half of the diameter so here in the formula of circle area of the circle pi r square is there pi into r square so you need radius okay so that's why as diameter is given so you convert this into radius d by 2 14 by 2 is equal to 7 okay diameter is 14 so don't take this as radius read the question carefully I say diameter is this this is diameter so we have to get radius by dividing by 2 then put the value you will get the answer as you found the area so area so unit should be square centimeter because radius is in centimeter okay now we'll go to the next question next question is find the area of a square of side 12 centimeter so <coughs> you can see uh, area have to find area of a square and uh, that means side is given 12 centimeter 12 centimeter and area of the square this one. area of the square equals to side square okay so this is the square So all sides are equal and each angle 90 degree. Then all the sides are equal. So 12, 12, 12, 12 centimeter, 12 centimeter. So side is equal to 12 centimeters. Area of the square is side square. Then 12 square, 12 square, you know, 444. 12 into 12. So you can do rough work and so 144 and unit square not cube okay area square unit of area square of the unit okay next find the volume of a cube of side 8 centimeter so volume of a cube of side 8 centimeter so side is given 8 centimeter and what is the volume of a cube side cube so what is the cube cube is like a ludo dice like this 
this one. And here also all sides are equal. Length, breadth, height, all are equal. 8 centimeter, 8 centimeter, 8 centimeter. So then we will solve. Volume of a cube is equal to 8 cube. And here single value you have to use. So you just take in centimeter only. Then 8 cube, 8 into 8 into 8. 8 into 8, 64 into 8. Then you multiply 500, 12 is the answer. Hmm. So 64 into 8 is equal to 512. Unit centimeter cube. Unit centimeter cube because we are finding the volume. Next question number 7. Find the volume of the cylinder of diameter 21 centimeter and height 3.5 meter. So, diameter is given and you know volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. So, you need radius and height. Okay. So, but diameter is given. So, diameter is given 21 centimeter that means radius will be d by 2, 21 by 2 centimeter and height is given in 3.5 meter you see you have to be careful here it is centimeter and here it is meter so you have to change this so 3.5 meter i want to change this into centimeter or if you want to change this into meter that will also okay that will also be okay no problem so but you should solve in same unit that is important okay so cylinder is like this So height is 3.5 meter, this one height or length and this diameter is given 21 centimeter. But we need only radius. Then we found radius, we have height, then we are ready to put these values in the formula. So pi r square h, 22 by 7, radius is 21 by 2, so write 21 by 2 into 21 by 2 square square means r into r okay into height 350 don't put 3.5 but 350 centimeter all should be in same unit that is important okay then you cancel this all then you are getting um, 11025 now unit is centimeter cube so we are finding volume and we are dealing with centimeter so centimeter cube if you find all units in meter then don't write centimeter cube you have to write in meter cube okay so this is what okay next question number eight a block of mass one uh, 1500 kg has volume three meter cube a block of mass 1500 kg has volume 3 meter cube calculate the density in kg per meter cube and gram per centimeter cube so we have mass in kg 1500 kg volume 3 meter cube so we have both the values required for finding the density because you know what is the formula of density so density is equal to mass by volume then mass is 1500 and volume is 3 so see i have taken this 1500 kg and uh, volume in meter cube so you don't have to change then you will get the answer directly in kg per meter cube so finding the density in kg per meter cube means expressing mass in kg and volume in meter cube see in the question only uh, they have given kg and meter cube so you don't need to convert and if you don't convert then you are getting the answer in kg per meter cube which is the first answer so 500 kg per meter cube and second part gram per centimeter cube then the conversion factor you can remember 1 gram per centimeter cube is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube Okay, so this is the conversion factor. 
so if you if you multi if you uh, convert gram per centimeter cube to kg per meter cube if you have to convert gram to kg per meter cube then we multiply with thousand then if you have to convert kg per meter cube to gram per centimeter cube then divided by thousand so you remember so gram per centimeter cube to kg per meter cube so you multiply with thousand and if you have to convert kg per meter cube to gram per centimeter cube then divide with thousand so remember this then here we have kg per meter cube then we need to find in gram per centimeter cube. so we have to bring from here to this so divide by thousand whatever is the value of density in kg per meter cube divide with thousand you will get in gram per centimeter so this is the answer okay now it's the next question the mass of uh, 2 liter of ethanol is 1570 gram calculate the density of ethanol in gram per centimeter cube so here volume is given in liter 2 liters okay but we need the volume in centimeter cube you see it's a gram per centimeter cube so the, you need to change the liter into centimeter cube because we need volume in centimeter cube here so 2 into 1000 1 liter is 1000 centimeter cube remember this is the factor so 2 into 1000 centimeter cube so 2000 centimeter cube and uh, mass is already in gram which we need here you see gram per centimeter cube so mass should be in gram and volume should be in centimeter cube so that's why i have converted this and got the value in centimeter cube so that's why now you are ready to put the values in the formula so you are just finding the form density so density is equal to mass by volume mass is 1570 and volume is 2000 so 0 0.785 gram per centimeter cube so this way you can find if you need to find this in kg per meter cube then what you will do you multiply with 1000 okay so that way you can solve this numericals okay thank you for watching my video